Good afternoon, students. How are we today? I want to believe we are okay by the grace of God. I still remain your basic technology teacher, Mr. Harvard Avenue. We will be having an online class this afternoon on the topic woodwork, boring, and cutting tools. I come again. Woodwork boring and cutting tools. This is what we shall be looking at this afternoon. What we need to know about the boring and cutting tools are what we call learning objectives for this lesson. That is, at the end of this lesson, you students should be able to identify list and state the uses of woodwork boring tools. Also, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify, list and state the use list of woodwork cutting tools or use of woodwork cutting tools. You will recall that in our last term and the other term was first and second term rather, we talked about wood, the types of wood and the uses of wood. Now, what are woodwork boring tools? Remember, the topic is woodwork boring and cutting tools. What are the boring tools? Let's take them one after the other. They are the tools we use to create holes or pour holes in wood or drill the wood to create holes in wooden materials. Examples of those boring tools are the brace, the gym lead, the electric hand drill or uh, drilling machine. The brace is of two types. We have the plain brace and the ratchet brace. Then the gym lead is what you are seeing below. The gym lead looks like the umbrella or the frame of umbrella. It's not the frame of umbrella rather, it is used for drilling wood. Then the brace has the ratchet and the plain brace. They are all used to drill the wood. I will give you the picture of the brace. This is the plain brace. It does not have that pin for the ratchet that is fit to the other one. This is the ratchet brace, while right? this is the plain brace. The ratchet is attached to the brace to make it a ratchet brace, and it has a function that is to rotate the brace in one direction. Probably you are drilling this way, or you are drilling this way. It will continue like this, not turning and turning, reciprocating, or moving to and fro. That's what you mean. Then the electric uh, hand drilling machine is what you are seeing here. This one is also used to drill wood or wooden material. It is powered electrically. You don't just use an like a gym lead to begin to operate it or uh, the brace. This one has a place where you have connection to it. That is what that is what you are saying at the left hand side. It is connected to socket. Then power will come and then you begin to use it. When there is no light or gem, whatever, when there is no electricity, go in. Or there is no electricity, you still cannot there. Uh, when there is no current, go in. You still cannot. Work that's what we mean by this powered electrically. Then, other that we use to drill include the bradaw, the breast drill. They are all used to create bow in wood or to pour holes in wood. These are the types of braids. Remember, I told you that is the part of the braid, the head, the frame that is where you hold it, or you come to the handle. That frame connects this side and this side. If you can put your two hands here, you put one at the frame there and the frame there, but mostly what or the place you're supposed to hold this frame is the handle. But if you have a job that you want it to be very strong, want to separate your hand and make them not to be close, then you can put one hand at the handle, or the, sorry, at the frame at the right hand side, then the frame at the left hand side. But the handle is supposed to be used to hold it. Then this is the plain brace, does not have the ratchet. Then let us look at the cutting tool, the woodwork cutting tool. 
They are the tools that are used for cutting wood into different sizes or shapes. A very good example we have of woodwork cutting tool that you may have heard of before now is the saw. Saw is used to cut wood. What are the types of saws that we have? And then what are the different use or the things we make them to do? Though they all do cutting, we use them to cut. They, but we have different types of saws. They include the rip saw. The rip saw is used to cut along the grain of wood. This is what we call cutting along grain of wood. That is along the side. Just cut and cut and cut and cut. If a wood is at this long, you begin to cut it. You want to divide it into two this way. That is cutting along the grain of wood. Then the cross cut saw is used to cut across the grain of wood. Not like this this time around, but like this this time around. So they look the same, but they have different functions too. Then the keyhole saw is the one you're seeing at the left hand side here. The keyhole saw looks like uh, the lighter that you use to on your gas cylinder. It also looks like a pointer or an arrow, whatever name you want to call it. It is used to make oh, the wood. You use it to cut, cut and cut and cut, then you create a hole in the wood. It is a cutting tool. Then the copy saw. This one is used to cut core. You want the thing not to be a rectangle or square or whatever. You want to cut core. The copy saw is used. Not just thick wood, but on, it's not used to cut on thick wood, but on thin sheets of wood and then plywood. You use the copy saw because it's not too strong to cut hard wood. Like we know, we discussed hard and uh, soft wood in our previous Okay. Then other types of saw include the panel saw. The panel saw is also called all-purpose saw. It can be used to cut across and along the grain of wood. We have the dovetail saw, we have the fresh saw, we have the tenor saw, and the power saw. These are some of the examples of the saw because you may be hearing my voice. Say, I have not seen saw before, or I do not know how it looks like. The one you are seeing on top there is the cross-cut saw. That is used to cut what across the grain. Then you have the coping saw I've talked to you. Then you have the keyhole saw used to cut wood. Then this one is the back saw. The back saw is, uh, as the name implies, back. Because the load is built or positioned to the back, you see the cross cut saw and other saw, they have in their, the, the handle being positioned along with the body of the saw. But in this case, the handle is a bit pushed back. The weight goes back. That is why it is called the back saw. So all the types of saw you have seen and had, they are used to cut wooden material into different shapes and sizes. Right, before we go for the day, I want us to have a recap of what we have discussed. We have said the woodwork Boring tools are used to create holes in wood or make holes in wood. We talked about the gimlet, electric uh, hand drilling machine, the uh, rudder, and the, uh, we've also talked about the brace and the types of brace, the one having the ratchet and the one for plate that does not have ratchet. And we also discussed the cutting tool. We gave an example, a good example of that as the saw. We said the saw is used to cut wood into different sizes or shapes. We talked about the types of saw, uh, the keyhole saw used to make hole, uh, the cross cut saw used to cut across, the rip saw used to cut along, and the panel saw, the bus saw, and all other types of saw. For your assignment, please visit the portal. Check your assignment here and do it appropriately. Before we say again, or till we see again, I want to say bye for now and remember, we got people safe. Thank you very much.